guys, can you hear me? Um, you're not gonna believe this, but I think I'm trapped on the Rock of Eternity. I have no idea what to do. I think I'm stuck. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this review for you guys. Um, don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. I think I know what to do. I got it. Please work. Please work. Shazam! Did it work? Am I back? Oh my god! I made it! I made it! Thank you, wizard. Thank you so much. Well, since I'm back, as promised, let's go ahead and do this spoiler review of DC's latest movie, Shazam, here on Comic Universe. Bet you guys didn't know I was worthy, huh? What's up guys, it's Jay here from Miss Jay's Reviews for the Comic Universe and welcome to the web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the Comic Universe. I'm Dr. Jay, I've got a PhD in nerd culture and I should know, I printed it out myself. So, I hope you guys liked that intro, that was a lot of fun to make. But, we are here to discuss quite possibly the best movie that DC has put out yet. At least in terms of the... DC, World of DC, DCEU, Multiverse, as it were. Shazam! I know, no lightning, it's weird. I can turn it on and off, guys. I've got control. But, let's go ahead and talk about this movie. Now, I'm assuming if you clicked on this video, you've either already seen this movie, or you don't care about spoilers. Either way, glad to have you. Let's talk about this awesome movie. So, first things first, the biggest strength of Shazam overall as a movie has to be its heart. Yes, it's a funny movie. Yes, there are a lot of really fun moments and it definitely captures that genuine childlike wonder that you expect from Shazam aka Captain Marvel, whatever you want to call him. I know there are old school fans that still refer to him as Captain Marvel, and I get that. So, really, the biggest strength of the movie, like I said, is its heart. And that lies not only in Billy Batson, but in the entire Marvel family. That's right. We're talking Mary, we're talking Eugene, Darla, uh, Pedro, everybody. They are all amazing without them they wouldn't have been able to make this movie as good as it is billy's great but billy alone cannot carry this movie and that is where the rest of the foster family come in because at the end of the day this movie is all about family and support and that is why dr savannah was such a good villain for this movie now, no, he is not the most nuanced and complex villain, not by a long shot, but Dr. Savannah is the perfect villain to be a foil for Billy and really show the theme of this movie, family and support. Billy was getting his butt handed to him until he realized what exactly his full potential was, and that is, of course... If you're familiar with the Shazam lore and mythos, sharing the power with his foster family. All hands on deck, baby. That was one of the most satisfying moments of the entire movie. And I dare you to not at least feel like you want to get up and cheer when you see that. Because that was built up so well and I feel like that was some great payoff. This movie was paced really well. The actors did such a great job. You know, finding good child actors is such a hard thing. Especially ones that can really sell you. And the kid who played Billy was absolutely phenomenal. Great Billy Batson. Yeah, he came off as a little bit of a jerk in the beginning. But he definitely has that heart of gold. You understand why Billy Batson, of all people, is worthy to be the champion of the Wizard Shazam. It was wonderful. And... Honestly, I have been a big fan of Shazam since I was a little kid. Mostly because of Captain Marvel Jr. aka Freddie Freeman. Because 
And for those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually physically disabled. I walk on crutches and use a wheelchair. So I tend to really gravitate towards any disabled characters. And Freddy, that's my dude. I've always liked Freddy, mostly because I'm into the magic side of things. And of course, he walks on crutches. So I definitely instantly related to him. And this version of Freddy, this is just straight up me. Like a less cool, more awkward version of me. And it sounds kind of braggy calling myself cool, it's weird. But I feel like I wasn't a loner in high school or middle school. So I can't relate to that aspect, but man, I really vibe with Freddy being the superhero nerd coaching Billy through it. Billy and Freddy's friendship really carry this movie all throughout. Zachary Levi does a fantastic job as Shazam. It never feels out of place. He genuinely feels like he is a 15 year old boy in a 20 to 30 year old man's body. Like with all these great, amazing powers, and they have a bunch of small, fun scenes, like Billy and Freddy trying beer for the first time after saving that liquor store from being robbed, and they just immediately spit it out because beer tastes like piss. <laughs> Sorry for the cursing, but it's true. I'm not really a beer guy. If, you, if I want alcohol, I will go with some tequila or some Jack, but it's neither here nor there. So that was amazing. I loved the atmosphere of the foster family and all the different personalities of our foster children. And one of my favorites, of course, besides Freddy, has always been Mary Marvel. And Mary was fantastic. I loved that she was in college. She's the older one. She's the wiser one. She's the big sister figure. She keeps everybody in check. She makes sure the house is running smoothly. And she's worried about leaving her family behind because she finally managed to find a home with this group. And it's amazing. And I love all the different personalities that come out when the Shazam kids each get a piece of the power and we get to see their personalities really shine. Like Eugene doing a straight up Hadouken with the lightning electricity ball was awesome. Darla going crazy spastic with her like speedster powers and saving Santa. Santa being the casualty through all these super villain fights. Hilarious. I like that it's kind of a Christmas movie too, even though it came out in spring. It's really dope. I definitely will watch this around Christmas time. This is such a fun movie. I had a blast all throughout. And honestly, that's all I want from a superhero movie these days is just to have fun, have a good time, and really enjoy the portrayal of a character. And man, do they have this one nailed down packed. You see, when you're not trying to follow a formula and you just want to do your own thing and you have a genuinely good story to tell, this is what you get. And this is what DC needs to just continue doing. They need to keep doing more of this, telling genuinely good and compelling stories about these great characters. This shows you just how much potential DC has and how much they can bring to the table when they really try. So I really hope Shazam is a success so that we can see more efforts like this because this was absolutely phenomenal. I loved it. I will probably see it again and again, get it on Blu-ray, this is one of my favorite movies of the year so far, and that is so shocking considering all the stuff that's coming out this year. But man, was this great. But let me know what you guys thought about Shazam in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what we do here on the Comic Universe, and you want to see more from us, myself, DPZ, C-Dubs, all of us, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Every one of you is worthy, I promise you that. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave us a like. Also, in the outro card, I will leave linked C-Dub's spoiler-free review of Shazam in case you want to hear his thoughts about it as well. And I will leave linked a video YouTube mysterious algorithm thinks you might like, which I hope you do. But until next time, you guys, this is Jay from Mysterious Reviews. And like I always say, once a comp geek, I was a comp geek. And 
Once a Shazam fan, always a Shazam fan. Okay, one last time. Her old time shake. You ready? Say it with me now. Shazam!